I know you'll catch me doing a seance. I'm not gonna get it. You're not gonna get it. Um, uh, I got it. I think I got. Nope. Didn't, didn't get it. Ha ha! You're losing me for a minute. I'm putting my hair up, bitch. I got you a little bit. I got you a little bit. All right, so we're live. Shannon Dad Podcast, episode thirteen. Yeah, we definitely got you, buddy. Dude, you look crazy. You look so scary right now. I think you could be a woman. You are pretty. I can't even hear you right now. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got your mic off. So that's perfect. So you, you can hear me, but I can't hear you. So I can just sit here and talk about how pretty you are. Like, dude, you don't even need makeup. Look at you go. Jesus. Shannon Dad Podcast, episode 13. Nabby. What up? Anubis. We are back. Um, poor Yeti, he is having internet issues out there in bumfuck Harrison, Ohio. Um, Feels bad. Yeah. yeah, the whole area is down, I guess. So that's a rough. In uh, Harrison? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I know. It's not his fault, but if he's got what I think he has, I'd know what's wrong. Uh oh. Can you fix it? If he if he has us, I know what's wrong, but I can't fix it. Maintenance has to. No, oh, boy. It's a it's probably a line problem, but if it's area wide, he's it's gonna be a while, at least a day. So, other than our homework, of course, what all did you do this week? Uh, shit. So I've been streaming a lot. I see. And I. Uh, no joke, no joke. Let, let me pull this up here. You'll laugh because uh, it's not like me. Uh, let's see. What do I have to catch up on? Yeah, I missed anime, and not just any animes. I missed the newest episodes of Decadence. I I caught Fire Force. I caught Fire Force. I forced myself an extra thirty minutes to stay up last night. Which surprisingly didn't bother my sleep schedule. But, uh, yeah, I stayed up an extra 30 minutes. It was like 1 o'clock when I went to bed just to watch Fire Force. I gotta watch Black Clover. And I have to watch, I think, No Guns Life. Because I bet I missed that episode and didn't remember. I still need to start No Guns Life. Episode 5. Let me see real quick here. Click on it. See, I'm a smart guy. I start the episode, kick it like halfway... See if I've seen that scene. If I haven't seen that scene, I shut it off. <laughs> haven't watched that episode yet. Never mind. Oof. Yep, nope. Haven't had, I haven't seen that episode yet. Okay, cool. But yeah, I, uh, I've been streaming a lot. And I actually uh, I missed a lot of my animes because of it. It was kind of funny. Have, um, have you been recording it or just streaming it? Wait, do you have uh, it recorded? Twitch automatically records the that's, day, but it disappears over time. That's not going to help. Um, I don't know if Facebook records or not, and then I was gonna, YouTube, I don't know either. I was going to say, if you had it all recorded, um, I can cut it up for you. Like a highlight type thing, if you could tell me. Dude, I, I, oh, oh, oh. So, last night, uh, no one was playing last night for some odd reason. The people that were playing weren't answering my messages. My brother. If he sees this, revenge uh -oh. will be swift. Uh-oh. Dude, I messaged him at 10 o'clock, right? I messaged him on my phone at 10.30. 12 o'clock when I get back in here, because I, uh, I played for I played till 11, then my son wanted me. Came back in here. Still hadn't seen my messages on the game or my phone. At 12 o'clock, I jump into his lobby. He's alone, getting ready for work. And I'm like, brah. And he goes, what? I was like, I messaged you two hours ago. And he goes, oh, shit, you did. Mm. So revenge will be swift. But uh, I, I played one more game before I watched that episode of Fire Force. And... I don't do Battle Royale at all. And I did it anyway. Uh, ended up getting 14th. 
I was like super stoked because it's solo battle royale. So I was like, holy crap, got like seven kills. I was like, oh my god. And then remembered I wasn't fucking streaming any of it. Oh, that sucks. I was so pissed because I had some cool moments, dude. I was getting like long shots with a aug scope, not a long scope. I was aug scoping that shit and guessing where I needed to shoot. Oh my god, it was so good. Uh, and then the guy that killed me, like, he two shot me in comparison to my full clip I put into him, and he was still standing. So, I don't know. I, I don't like Battle Royale because of the fact that that armor piece at the end. Like, if you have a gold gun and I have a purple gun, you'll kill me two seconds faster, even though my gun used a full clip and you used half clip. Jesus. I don't know. Um, what did I do this week? I've oh, been... I'm, I'm... What? I'm also nerding over, uh... I, can't... I don't have my phone on me. It's called Express Skins, I think. Oh, yep. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Daughter. So... <laughs> Hi, Lou. It's called... X press underscore skins and they make oh crap hold on they make the best stickers and stuff you showed me them already yeah yeah, yeah. I've, I've been jonesing over them here you go Lou go play come on go on shut my door oh, go 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 man. go shut my door I've I've been I've caught up on Attack on Titan. I told you that earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, my opinion here. I, I really wish Yeti was here too, cause I know Yeti hasn't watched any. He's still just watching them or reading the manga. Um, but I know you're caught up. But I, I I love Attack on Titan. It is so damn good. But yeah. I hate that. I have this feeling always after I finish a season, and then I'm always stuck waiting years. Like, it's like it takes it away from me. Like, I could literally say if I sat and watched Attack on Titan from start to finish, it could probably be in a top ten list for me. But since, Yeah, like, but if you have to wait... Yeah, like, it's like killed it for me. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. Some animes, the wait is worth it. Like, yeah. we were waiting for Hunter x Hunter to have an extra. Yeah. We were waiting for um, Bleach Ball. to get its second Bleach. setup. Dragon Ball. Oh, man. But that anime is about the action that's going on. And, like, like when they ended the last season, it left a cliffhanger. And then they were like, meh. And it's like a bummer. year and a half, two years later? Because I, like, I forget characters. Like, I don't remember some of the characters. I was like, where did I remember this dude the pop up? first, like, four characters that are important. Yeah, that's it. Levi. Levi. Aaron. Uh, Aaron. Ar Armin. Armin. What's her name? And, uh, his sister. His who's in love with him. Yeah. Um, it's that, not actual sister. That's it. I mean, and it's... I, it's yeah. And there's so many characters with like death to him but like it's like well there's such a big gap it's hard to remember everything so i mean yeah. it's like it's a bummer like i really enjoy the show like i'm sitting here like man i, I can't wait for this time skip. if they want to introduce good. if like, they want to introduce another character they should do it the way some other animes do it so like you have your main characters which you always have and then if you have a time skip, if a new character shows up, he's in the next whole set of season. So he's in the next 12 episodes. So instead of you losing that character because he's in for two episodes, he's really important, and then he's not that important anymore, he's going to be important because he's an entire season worth of important. Yep. Like the general in Attack on Titan, they did a really good job with him. But everybody fucking else? Yeah. Nah. Yeah, you could you could care less. So I watched that. Um, I started getting caught back up on Sword Art Online. Um, the I'm new not, season's out, isn't it? Yeah, new season's out. Um, it's really good. I I like the newer the last the, the last season and this season. They're connected. 
Um, they're really good. What else? At least it's not the second season. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love you. I don't love you. I love you. What else did I do? I had something else I wanted to talk about. I got. S- oh! 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 What do you got? Talk about. Talk about. Good. <laughs> Transitions and characters that mean something. I finished Assassination Classroom. Well, that's gonna be we're we're using that as homework because I know you, you just finished that and it's always gonna be fresh in my mind. One second before you do that, I don't want to give any spoilers to the show or anything. I finally finished Tower of Gods. Fuck Rachel. Fuck her, dude. She's such a bitch. Dude, fuck her, Rachel. She's such like, a bitch. Screw you! Like, I can't like, deal with her. Oh my god, the twist that threw through my head. And then my buddy, my buddy actually messaged me. And he's like, and I, I was talking to him about it. I'm like, well, she's a bitch. Dude, I hate her. But like, not not spoiling anything, but how did she do that? I don't know. And he goes, rewatch the episode. And I was like, what do you mean? Rewatch the episode. I walked back to the last three minutes of the episode and was like, "What? The, that bitch!" Yep. I I I I hate her. And you know what's sad is they're gonna make sure that they're gonna try and make you re-love her. And I I'm no, I'm not going. Well, to. he. I think. I think after a long haul up that tower, he ain't gonna give two. Fucked no more I about her. I hope he kills her. Like that's I don't what hope he I killed want. her. I, I don't hope he kills her. But I hope, like, okay, so you got kill, right? Mm-hmm. And then you have what you wanted. He gets it, and she's left down there again. That's what that's I what I want because killing her is gonna. I mean, it's over with. No, that bitch deserves to be down low, just left on the ground because. She's an irregular for one, no, who has no power. Yes, she is. No. She was not asked to come by the tower. She asked to go herself to go see the sky. That doesn't make her an irregular. Is an irregular is someone who sh- who wasn't in. meant to head yeah. to the tower. I don't think she so, is. I know he is, but I don't think she they, is. They, they both are. If you remember in the beginning, I mean, not in the beginning, near the end... The, the guy with the staff asks her what she wants and all this shit. And he says, well, you got to go do that. And she goes, how am I supposed to do that? She gets all pissed off um, because he only does that to irregulars. I'm, I'm going to look it up here. I'm pretty sure she counts because he counts too because he asked to go in to go after her. She asked to just go in altogether. I, regulars are people who are chosen by their clan to go in and fight. Like the... Uh, the Kuhn, the Kern clan or some whatever. His his friend with the blue hair. He's in one of those clans. Yeah. Uh, Which his brother's dope as fuck. Like his brother showed up and was like, "What's up, bro?" Okay. Well, He's I like, got, "Why the fuck are you here?" I guess we get spoiled, but we just we just spoiled it. But supposedly it tells us later on that she is one. So. But I don't think she is, because she knew how to get in the tower. Where he forced his well, yeah. will into the tower. He forced his will into the tower. And she just Yeah, wanted I to can go. see that. You know, but like, the, the like, other she thing... She was like, I'm leaving. And he's like, don't leave me. Please. Yeah, and then she's gone. But the other thing that I, I don't get is... Uh, the administrator, he says, irregulars can... Uh, what, what did he say? Irregulars can destroy the system or something yeah and he wasn't speaking about anyone else but the main character yep. well the, just because what he saw at the beginning the king is also an irregular so like that's why they have that whole role is because of how he was able to pretty much i don't know if he cheated or what but he was the only one that's able to do like this other way and which I think that's dumb that they added that. Like, oh, he was the only one that was able to do this test and climb the tower that way. I thought that was kind of dumb. Like, it wasn't even really that good of a thing. I was hoping well, it was going to be something that tested bomb to be cool. But And then, like, 
it should have been a test of his strength. Yeah. Instead and of it was like a test a of his team. Yeah, it was like, okay, so you're saying like it's all about teamwork? Like it had nothing against him. He just said, a, "Hey, just stand here and float up to the top." Okay. Hey, tell me this. Tell me this. How much did you think he was gonna shoot that uh, blue stuff out and just fly back up and meet her again? I was waiting for that oh shit moment where he controlled it, shot himself back up, and just stood in front of her like, "What the fuck, bitch?" And shot her off of it. That's what I wanted. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You want her dead? I get it. I do. I hate her. I want her dead in the sense that everything but actual death. It kind of. It's. I hope they don't really drag this on in season two. But I hate like everyone's like. All right, you you're caught up on My Hero Academia, right? Uh, of course I am. All right, so you know how everyone cares about what's her name smiling. Like, and then it's cute for her, right? Because she's this little girl. They're like. Oh my god, we just want to see her smile, right? Yeah. Alright, so that's cool. But I don't like this weird fanboy around Bomb. Like, oh, I just don't want him to lose anything in life. Like, I don't know. That's just a little cheesy to me. I, I don't like that. What it's like saying consider. you don't want Midoriya to be hurt. The yeah. motherfucker, the whole point of him getting hurt is so he grows. Yeah, they're like, we don't want to see if his heart If you tell everyone like, you don't want him to get hurt, it's like, fuck off. Like, I don't know. Like, it makes sense when you're talking about a girl. A little girl. Like, of course, she's supposed to be cute. But you're talking about a dude. Like, he's probably teenaged. Like, I don't I don't know anyone else that's going to be like, oh my god, I just want to see him happy. Like, no. Like, who gives a shit? Like, fuck you. The whole point is for him to grow as yeah. an adult. Like, the kid hasn't had even her childhood. Give her childhood. That's what they're doing in my hero. Yep. This bitch needs to grow the fuck up and get over his one, one true love. Mm. Come on, you're fucking like what? Eight? He's probably no. He's probably like fifteen. Yep. Some. I don't. And he's know. still a bitch. Yeah. But I will admit, because you're caught up now. Oh my god, the push when when he put the water up and pushed everyone else away, and then he's just standing there like. Yeah. Am I supposed to go over there? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh shit. No, no, you good, bro. Quit, quit spoil. We can't spoil anything. Because, of course, Yeti still hasn't seen it. And no, that's why I didn't we, like small we wanna, detail. We want to get good. these people into it because they need to watch it. So yeah, let's, agreed. W let's get off of that. Um, but yeah, I finished that. I got caught up on um, Attack on Titan. I'm catching up on... Black lover, but no, not yet, dude. I, oh, what's wrong with you, dude? I've had to take a step back from like medieval anime. Like I just saw Seven Deadly Sins new season just came out. I had no intentions of watching that. Like I just, I'm burnt out on medieval stuff. Seven Deadly Sins drops the whole medieval cop complex and goes ham. I'm I'm burnt out. I can't do it. It's basically angels wait. versus demons in, in that season. I have to I have to chill out for and a then, little bit. And then uh, Black Clover, I mean, I'm liking it because you're seeing them grow as characters. I, I'm like a hundred and something episodes in. Like, I'm just, I took a break. I had, like... And Let's see, 137 is the most recent it's, one. It's weird that I say, like, I'm done with Medieval... For a little bit, but I'm watching Sword Art right now, which is medieval. But um, it's a video game. Yeah. Um, but I, I just Overlord, Bl Black Clover. Um, Overlord, Overlord was the. I mean, it was a letdown the, in season two. The game season one was fantastic, freaking... and <sighs> they 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 left so much to do with season one into season two, and then they were like, you know what? We're going to make him still overpowered, like One right. Punch Man. It's I just, like, no. I just want to say one thing, right? So, like, American, right? Writers. They know, like, the Revolutionary War. They have all this knowledge. And they usually base their stories on stuff that's, like, it's, it's like current or around, like, United States stuff, right? Heritage. Yeah. Japan has samurais but we like only have so many anime right now we barely have any anime besides demon slayer i think 
Demon Slayer is the uh, only current anime that yeah. is, has anything to do with samurais. Like, we've just... Like, America's doing samurai stuff. We got Samurai Jack. I, like, I, I do like how they were doing um, Dr. Stone, but we're still waiting on that season to come out. Yeah, so. season tone. Season 2, The Stone Wars. I thought it was... Is it the Stone Wars? Yeah. Oh. It's but that, that's going to be definitely worth it and awesome. Yep. Like, I'm sorry, but we need to leave the knights and stuff to England. Leave that to them. Let them do knight stuff. <laughs> like, I'm so burnt oh, out. Um, I'm going to plug this real quick. Uh, I plugged it in my uh, one of my discords I help take care of. If you like playing video games, Call of Duty is free till the 12th to play multiplayer, not just the BR right now. And so go hit it up. You say BR? No, BR right now. Oh. So you can play the Battle Royale Warzone for free. The multiplayer version is free right now till the 12th. If you want to play it, try it out. It's actually got a lot of fun uh, maps on it and some good trial and error. And if they're not playing on console, where do they find that at? Uh, so Blizzard is actually carrying it right now. They own Activision, and Activision is chilling on their client. How do so, you, well, let's, yeah. let's talk about that for a second. How do you feel about, like, 12 different launchers for video games? Um, so, I mean, honestly, you have to have competitors, right? And I get that. I think they could find... I think they need to find a middle ground and just all place it on Steam. They would still get the fucking value for it because there are games on Steam that still get their money for it. And it would allow one plat uh, one platform to own the holding of the game. So like server quality and all that other stuff, which Steam can handle. It's got plenty. And then all they would do is reap the, bre reap the benefits. Yep. I mean, and it would make it a lot easier for everyone else because you have the, the Steam console you can actually get. Uh, and they don't do that no more. The Steam oh, you can't get that no more? Steam OS is dead too. Uh yep. Um that's my thing, is like alright, let's go through the launches. So we have Microsoft Store, which the only thing that comes out of that that's not on Steam just yet is Fantasy Star Online Two. So I have to literally play on this one client. For Which, by the way, was online too. trash and as shit trash. when it came out because of that launcher. Yeah. Um, Epic Games. Epic Origin. Games is a good launcher. The problem with Epic Games launcher is they are too one-sided. Yeah. Once they see a money grab, they'll drop whatever's playing at the current moment and go for it. Right now, it's Fortnite, but... Trust me, it'll die sooner or later and watch well, how fast they leave. You want to know my biggest bone to pick with Epic Games right now? Go for it. So, I mean, you know my Steam library. I have every fighting game that's ever been oh, yeah. dropped on there. Yeah. Besides one game now that I have to get on Epic to play. You know what Which that is? game is? Samurai freaking Showdown. Why is that on Epic and not on Steam? I don't know. Who's it made by? Um, SNK. That's why. No, SNK has all their games on freaking Steam. But for really? some reason, they're like, hey, we're going to throw this on here. I have King of Fighters on 14 and 13 and all the oh, classic wow. games all on Steam. I have a bunch of different Samurai Showdown games on Steam. But they came out with the newest Samurai Showdown game and that went to Epic. So now I have Samurai Showdown over there and all my fighting games over here. Right. You know, you know what's going to be sad is like when Fortnite dies, Epic's definitely going to die. Like, it's it's definitely going to happen. Like, that's... They have Mech Warriors, they have Fight Fortnite, and they have freaking... 
Samurai Showdown, which there's a small group of us that actually play Samurai Showdown. Fortnite, they have Fortnite, and I don't they have Rocket League? No, nah, Rocket League's on Steam. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, the thing with Epic is when they made Fortnite, they proved they can stand ground with the game of the millennium. We'll say that because it's basically the game of the year at the time when they made it. And they joined in and they caught up the competition that fast. Like you had yeah. PUBG, uh, Roa, and uh, there was one other. Daisy. What? Daisy. Daisy. And they were the top three dogs. And then Fortnite just flew. And it was like, where did that come from? They added their own touch to it. And they've proven they can do that. They have Ark. Yeah. Ark. I mean, shit, Ark made other survivals look trashy. Now, the only downfall of Ark is it's huge. They don't compress anything. I think the original download for Ark, just base Ark, is 120. And that's gigs. That's before the extras and the add ons. Now, games are starting to compress some things, but. Call of Duty's doing the same thing. It's a hundred and Holy shit, something dude. download gig. That's why game. I never got into the newest Call of Duty because like they've done well, three per trials before. I'm like, dude, I'll do that, but I'm just like, I'm not. Well, the thing is, the reason why it's such a download is you download the BR and the multiplayer at the same time. The multiplayer is a totally different setup. It sits on a different plat, but uh, basically a different platform, so it doesn't. Uh, if BR were to go down, multiplayer wouldn't, or vice versa. Bummer. It's a smart way to do it. Right. Um, but it's uh, it's a hog, and yeah, internet's getting faster, but not everyone's got fast internet. So you have someone starting the download and ending the download when they wake up the next day. You know, and I complain about Street Fighter, cause like anytime they do an update, it's forty gigs. I'm always just like. Dude, that's freaking dumb. Like, I'll tell you this much. The latest update changes. for the newest season, the newest season was 50 gigs. See, see now, it does it. compress itself after it downloads, but you have to download yeah. all 50 gigs. Yeah. That was the newest season just yeah. recently. <sighs> it's dumb. That's something yeah, the, that came out this week. New characters for Street Fighter. Did you see them? Yeah, the, we're not going to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> that's like we had this convers we had that conversation on uh, our group chat it's like uh, bringing out Kakashi in Shinobi Fighters but with his eye open yep that's what they did yep and like cool story like we won't have the last character until December next year of this season like, I get Jesus it. Jesus Christ. They're, they're trying to, like, extend it so, like, people, like, have something to look forward to until Street Fighter Six comes out. But it's like... What comes out first, Tekken or Street Fighter Six? Because it seems right now that Tekken's gonna actually maybe... No, nah, Tekken got a new season. Coming out first. They, they announced their new season last, last week. Oh, did they? Did they? Yeah. Okay, okay. So... Tekken. That that's that's gonna be a big thing though because the only, the only thing I see a lot. the only thing I see that would push Tekken to make a new game is if we're stuck like this next year. With COVID. oh yeah, they'll force a new game. Yeah, they would force it because they would need to. They all right, it. we need to because they just they actually did it with this is like hey. We found a way to implement, if you're playing ranked online, you have to be wired. So, like, if they had to deal with this next year, they can't do that. They would have to, like, all right, we're going to have to literally what? Why work on... Why are gone? Yeah, they're going to have to work Why on their netcode. So, and that's, that's the a only big way. thing, too. You can't subject games like that. There's a lot of people who can't play wired and they don't play the game because they can't. There are there are rules you have to follow within the community, well, the world, and 
not everybody in the world can run off of Wired. So you have people who want to play Tekken but can't play it online. But, or if or the game were to try to do that later in the future, it would be to cause a bunch of issues. Well, their issue with it is like with them right now trying to do online tournaments. You have up, to have Wired, yeah. They're putting up all this money like for laggy connection, which, okay... We want to make money off streams. We can't make money off laggy streams. If a player is complaining that he keeps getting lagged out of a game, that's going to, you know... Yeah, but even Wired, if the netcode's not strong enough, or the netcode can't handle it, even Wired's going to crash. Oh, yeah. And then, see, that's the thing, is they're, they're trying to find their ways. And, of course, this is all to just fix right now. This isn't supposed to like be a permanent fix. This is supposed to. All right, we can fix this Oh no! No one would right permanent now. that. Yeah. No, um, no one would permanent that. So like, with the rank thing, okay, this can force people to get a wire. If they can't get a wire, they'll start looking into how to figure out a way to get a wired connection. With like how I used to do it, with um, I have a network extender, so I can use the network extender wire from that to my stuff in the basement I used to do that and I mean there's all kinds of little stuff that you can do to still get that good connection but at the same time with the netcode still trash game still with the advancements with the advancements in Wi-Fi and the advancements in mesh routers soon enough an, a, a wired connection from uh, 15 to 4400 square foot house is not going to be hard because you could have the router downstairs and a satellite upstairs and still be a wired connection and it's perfect wired connection there's no kickups no slowdowns nothing that's the whole point that google made it for and just everyone hopped on the bandwagon it's perfect i mean you work in internet um how far are they away from having everyone with fiber oh very they're, they're very close. The reason... No, far. Far, yeah. The reason is, is when you think about fiber, everyone thinks, oh, man, just run into homes. It's like You a, have to change every piece of equipment that is not fiber ready. And it has to go from... It goes from underground, too, doesn't it? It's not a... No, no, no. Aerials, a, there's aerial fiber. You see the big aerial cords? Those are fiber. Oh, yeah. Underground is just another way of doing it. If you can't access underground, they use aerial. But, like, I'll use Kentucky as an example. We have one main area we're turning into fiber, but it's a brand new, like, housing division. Because we can start from scratch there, and it doesn't cost us more than it does to um, change everything. To change all of our equipment to fiber in Kentucky alone, if I'm correct, is like, no, we'll use Cincinnati alone. Would be like $50 million? Yeah, I think like there's like 30% of Cincinnati that's already fiber. But like if you look at Japan, everywhere in Japan's fiber already. Like they're, right, they're, but they're they spent their it. money they on it. They spent their and money they, on it. Um, there's not. There's not a lot of competition in Japan. I'm pretty sure they only have like two internet providers. Yeah, and like how um like how we complain about Street Fighter Online, over there Street Fighter's good. Like everyone plays good matches over there. They don't deal with the lag that we deal with. So like I mean that's your two choices: get a wire or have fiber. Like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, it's it's rough. And or like we tell the people that are making these games improve that netcode there's reasons why people that play Mortal Kombat competitively are able to play people in UK and play great Without matches like but Mortal Kombat look how long I mean yeah they've all been doing it for a long time but Mortal Kombat's online play has been out way longer than Street Fighters and Tekken's no they just because There's... Mortal Kombat started their online play on PlayStation 2 no so that's not true. Um, Street Fighter and Tekken, they've been ahead of the game on it. So, for some reason, Japanese people don't like to implement stuff that Americans do. So, back when Street Fighter, I think it was 2 Turbo or 3 or something like that was out. 
um, these guys found out a way to give like the arcade version, which is how we got Fightcade now, um, like perfect internet with rollback netcode, right? And they made it free. Like, hey, anyone can use it. So like Mortal Kombat, of course we're going to use your free like netcode that we don't even have to worry about doing anything with. Killer Instinct. So, like, of course, we'll use your stuff, too. Um, Skull Girls, freaking, um, that My Little Pony game. All those games all use the, the netcode thing. But Japanese companies won't. Um, Arc System Works, they are actually now working with rollback netcode for the new Guilty Gear game coming out. And I heard that they were talking about putting it in, um, Grand Blue. Fantasy Versus, which you still haven't played that, have you? I have not. It's an anime version of Samurai Showdown. So freaking hey. good. I love it, dude. It is Come so on, I love going to have other people. Yep. Yep. It's it's a but, fun game. Um, Yeti will be not joining us. His internet is down for the count. Yep. Um, he's, he's typing out his explanations for our homework, so we're waiting on that. That's why we're talking about random stuff. Don't worry, we're not off topic yet. So, Promise. while he's doing that, give me your thoughts on Assassination Classroom. So, alright. So, let's see. Um, I, 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 oh my god. There are very few times I have cried in anime. And you have to have a lot of connection with the characters or the character in one of my instances to cry in the anime. Like, Neji dying, I bawled my fucking eyes out. Just, it's someone I had a connection with. Man. Everyone has that connection. Did you cry when Asuma died? Asuma. Asuma. I can't say his name right. From what? Naruto. Who the hell is Asuma? You got a Oh, never mind. Yes, I, I did. I did. Yeah, everyone has their own character they, they, they get into and they feel. And mine was just Neji. And it sucked. Um, but the ending, I, I loved the fight at the end. How they made it three episodes long. They made it show how he could adapt and how he still cared even while he was adapting so like uh, I'm not going to give any major spoilers away but the tentacle thing mm -hmm. that was legit like to think of three different ways of doing it while in the middle of a battle with someone who's whooping your ass and, and then he's getting his ass whooped and he just adapted to it and found a way to beat it like and then the main bad guy's like fuck it I'm gonna use my final trump card and he's like well shit I don't wanna use mine no. like he was upset about using it that was hilarious um the characters they did like I said I did the amazing job keeping them in the loop so the next episode a new character was doing something like trying to assassinate him or um like when they went to the pool you got to see how Tarasica, even though he's not smart uh planned out like oh hey this guy's being a dick and trying to kill my friends and just off hauled his ass and helped him um you had uh Toshiro who, yeah, he didn't talk very much, but you could see how he grew as a character. Gro he grew as a character when he went from, like, at the beginning, just sniping, to all around support. Um, How'd you Karma. feel about um, the ending with the one kid growing up to be a teacher and all that? That was fantastic. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And her walking away and then seeing the form of uh, Kura Sensei around her was just yep. priceless and perfect. And it, it fit. You say her. Yeah, I it's still say a, her. It's a boy. It's Leave a him, him alone. Him, At least he cut his hair. Yeti says the only 
anime that made or I've never cried more at an anime than I have with Ace dying in One Piece, which, yeah. I I mean, I didn't cry for that, but yes, I did have the feels. But I cried when Koro Sensei died, just because you had a connection to. I mean, there was no way unless you just weren't into the show. You didn't have a connection with every single student in that classroom. Even the ones that didn't seem that important, when he calls roll out, you know them, and you know their connection to him. And then she kill, he, he kills him, and it's like you feel every emotion that he does when he stabs. And a tough I was... I was, I mean, a tear came down my face, but not like, yeah, no, it was, oh. Get out. That, that scared me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, dude, you got haunted. Because I did not see a head or anything, I just saw the door open. <laughs> Sneaky kids. Sneaky kids. Um, um yeah, this, but this all around, good. all around, the story was fantastic. The characters, characters were Oh, basically on point for their growth. Even the principal, like that dude, was a dick. Yeah. And then the ending with him was like perfect for him, and it showed how he wasn't gonna give up, even though he got knocked the fuck out. I like the. Um, I can't yeah. remember his name anymore. I haven't seen it so long. But the redhead's um, character development is really Karma. strong. Is really Karma. strong. I like how Karma's he... character development was awesome. Yeah, um, he's he was my favorite in this show. Um, I I enjoyed. I'm him. gonna like my pockets after this. Yeah. <laughs> Best line at the end. I'm gonna like my pockets after this. Yeah. Looking at the fucking treasury, like okay. Um, but yeah, I thought the story was fantastic. The characters were fantastic. Um, the backstory for Cora Sensei was perfect. They used three episodes to explain it. They didn't just go, here's his backstory in one whole episode and you couldn't keep it in your mind. When the, en the show ends, you're like, wow. Because cause the uh, ghosts on the top of the uh, classroom are just like, wow. I don't remember his backstory at all, but I will say I'm okay if they just left it at the dude punched a hole in the moon and came to Earth. I, I do like the I fact that he didn't fine with the that. I would have been fine if that was it. And, like, clearly I was okay with it because I totally forgot what his actual backstory was. So, because... he was the original Reaper. Yeah, okay. Now I remember. And now it came back, yeah. Yep. But I, I do like how they proved he didn't punch a hole in the moon. It wasn't in him to do so. He admitted it. He didn't want to destroy the Earth, but he didn't have a choice. He was either going to die... Or the Earth was dead. That's uh, how it's going down. We got your erased review up. Don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna move to that in a minute. We we're letting him but, talk about Assassination Classroom since it took him three weeks to watch twenty seven episodes. Well, yeah, I had to watch it on Hulu on my PlayStation. Kids, you know, I'm I got like two episodes a day. I'm surprised it took you this long to watch it, cause that dude that had some major like freaking like public eye like it was like my hero academia level not just from hulu but from funimation um i never saw it i always watch my Crunchy stuff on uh, the banjo back stuff no so if i see it on the banjo back stuff i'll watch it but like erased and assassin's classroom they're not on there yeah well erased so. was never like that but i mean like if you had hulu before they gave you like no commercial options it wasn't ever. It wasn't like every commercial, like little ad. That was one. Yeah. Of them. Um. But yeah, it's a really good anime. I I enjoyed Assassination Classroom. I remember I that was one of them that I started when I first got my Funimation account, like four years ago. Um, it was advertised on that, so I was like, <laughs> okay, I'll start this and um. It was three years ago, actually, I watched it. And Kristen got annoyed because I sat there and watched it all night. Um, and, like, in two days, I finished it. It's, it was really good. Um, yeah, Ra Rachel had gotten uh, into some of it. And then, of course, she was just staring at me at the ending because I couldn't take a smile off my face. 
Yeah, like yeah. that, like that final episode was just. Yeah. Um, I think they needed like, that final episode of like showing what the kids did when they grew it up. Cause I, I don't think I could. Be I didn't okay. know it was coming. You know, I don't think I, I didn't know it was coming. Okay. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there, and 24 ended, and I was like, oh man, that was really good. There's another episode. No. Yep. <laughs> it was like that. I was like, oh my god. Yep. All right, let's move uh, over to Erased. So, do you want to read right, yeah. off Yeti's? List all right, here? so we got a quick review from Yeti. Um, so we'll give the overall first, and then we'll explain the overall. The overall for Yeti was a seven out of ten. He thought it was flawed, but he enjoyed it. Um, he said that it was a very interesting and engaging premise to the entire show. Uh, great art and animation style, which was suitable for a mystery anime. Uh, Satoru was a very relatable to him, so he that was his character, he felt. Uh, main characters and... Oh, I'm sorry, the main characters were realistic and interesting. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Shit. Uh, great <laughs> OSTs, OP, and ED. I, I thought the endings were fantastic, and the first opening is the only one I watch. I usually don't watch any others because I don't want spoilers. So he's right. The opening was dope. Um, if Yeti's still in the comment section, um, you so you stopped watching all the openings. I, I only watched the first opening. If uh, of the season, and if the opening changes, because so episode eleven it changes, but it's such a small change, I doubt you would have noticed it then. Um, what's it called? So, it's the entire same opening, but he's not in it. Oh, that's a change. Yeah, Whoa. yeah, he's not Whoa. in it at all. Like so, it, like shows where like. You would see him watching down on, like, his younger self playing with the kids. The kids would just be playing by themselves without him. Um, he would not be in the window. It would show the window. It would show the movie theater. He was not in the movie theater anymore. The kid version wouldn't come in the movie theater. It was really cool because it was like, it was where he was erased out of that part of timeline now. And all yeah. that because, like, it was changed. And I thought that was the coolest thing in the world that they added that little change was he's not... little differences yeah. that matter a lot a lot there are animes that do it and people don't even notice it because he's in a coma is what yet he said yeah yeah exactly um, yeah yeah he was in a coma so like they didn't have it um but i thought that was so cool that they didn't have him in the opening to like go with the show and, and usually you know like i I know everyone when they watch Dragon Ball Super and like a new opening would start and there would be like different like they made it look like Gohan was getting hyped up again for the Tournament of Power right and they would show it whereas Goku and Gohan like teamed up taking on everyone so everyone thought Gohan was going to be the one that would like be the hero once again and like in this they actually used the opening to make a change that's actually going oh. on with the story so I thought that was super cool. Here Here's the thing, though, like, 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 the, like the opening for a race, there was nothing given away, and I liked that. I didn't watch it again unless I was like, you know, listening to the music or something. But that was because I didn't want to take a chance of something being given away. And in Dragon Ball Super, they did a really good job of not giving anything away besides like, oh, here's a new character. No. Yep. And when they did that, like they did with uh, Topo, you didn't see his ass. He was cloaked. And you didn't know who the fuck he was, but you saw him in the beginning, so you knew he was a bitch. And they they do it a, a good way that way. Like, Bleach doesn't have a lot of, oh, hey, here's what's going to happen kind of thing. Um, Bleach's is cool because sometimes they do, like, a realistic version. And you'll have, like, Ichigo riding a fucking motorcycle or Renji drinking a coffee in a fucking shop or some shit. And it's like... That's what they would be like in real life? No. Nope. Yeah, shit. My biggest so upset that I hate about the damn show is I hate the first chick that was supposed to die. I hate her. I hate her guts. They were supposed to finish the show 
together. I, I mean, it's weird because he was, of course, like a grown man traveling back, falling in love with this girl and blah, blah, blah. And, like, she got with his best friend. Are you serious? Like, that is well, some, like, bullshit. I, I could not get uh, with that. So, that annoyed so me. Yeti said he liked the philosophies. So let's go through his cons, and then we'll pinpoint our stuff, yeah. too, because, in my opinion, I thought that was a great way to do it. Because he didn't notice his best friend had the thing. Even every time he went back, he couldn't tell. And then... I mean, uh, yeah, he did. He called him out on it. He called him out on, like, oh, it sounds like you have a crush on her, too. He's like, I would never do that. Uh, You're my best friend. Yeah, you're my best friend. It's like, fuck you. But he went into a coma, so he stood up. It's kind of like he stood up for him, and he helped him. Yeah. Um, but Yeti's cons were story becomes a little uh, monotonous. God, I can't say that word. Um, in the second half, he said it starts to feel a little rushed, especially in the last quarter. Which I, f- I, I feel I, can... I feel there was like not a budget restraint, but I feel like they were like I don't feel like it had the budget to continue the like twenty four episodes like it wanted to. I feel because like, I feel like the whole coma thing was kind of a way to end this story. I don't know. I, I would need to read the anime. The coma thing was a good idea, but it was like... Shut up, Yeti. We're all over the place. It was like not here. that fast. It was like that fast. Yeah. Uh, it went from... He's looking... But he's, and, he's right. Uh, we, we haven't talked about the plot. Um... So it starts to feel a little rushed. Okay, so many characters what, got a very what, little screen time. Hold on, real quick, pause it. So, the whole point of Erase. So, this twenty-six-year-old, I believe he is. He's twenty-six. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. So this twenty-year, nine-year-old's working at like this pizza place. Um, what's it called? His mom gets killed. Wait, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. You can you, go Jesus through. Christ. It's been like okay. three weeks since I've seen it. So, the main character in the beginning of the show works at the pizza at a pizza place. And he explains how that on a ride to another uh, delivery, he sees a butterfly and he has a power yep. called Revival. Revival allows him to stop something bad from happening to somebody but in the very beginning he explains it's only been a one to five minute window so he sees the butterfly notices when the time skips back that the guy in the truck next to him who's going the opposite direction is passed out or had a heart attack or something and is gonna run into this kid turns his ass around saves the kid and gets applauded for it and all that other jazz so later on he goes out with his mom to a store, and his mom sees someone she thinks she knows, watches him for a minute. Well, then a kid comes out of the van, and she thinks that he was trying to kidnap the kid, so she takes a picture of the plates. He, he caught on to her taking a picture and kills her, and when he's leaving, the main character's coming up the stairs, finds his mom, his rent owner finds him blood bloody hands and the police think he did it so he runs yep. he runs he runs into a friend who helps him stay well, hidden you're pushing you're pushing past so let's just quit doing that um so the point of it is he for some reason blacks out and goes back to his childhood so so he revivals instead of five uh, one to five minutes he revivals 18 years yep and so he's he realizes that there's something that's happened when he was a kid that he needs to fix to fix to get it bring his mom back to life is what he's uh, trying to do accomplish and it turns out there's this whole big bigger ordeal that's going on um i don't want to give away too much of it because i'd like people to watch it yeah but um he has to figure out what that is so it will fix time and he thinks he's just gonna go right back through that 18 years that he's been that he just got pushed back in turns out he comes back and it didn't change the right stuff and he his mom's still dead and they still think he is so he has to go back and refix things um i overall liked it i don't 
Hold on, let me finish the cons here. Yeah, finish the cons so, here, Yeti. Uh, he didn't like the fact that many of the characters didn't get much screen time, but I think that's the only way they could have done this anime. It had to be based around his relapsing, because they didn't have 24 episodes to explain every character. They only had 12 to do his relapsing and his revivals and stuff like that. They had to fast act his attack on the climax so they could stay in the climax for the next six to eight episodes yeah. or however long it took and him I to think do that, that was the whole point of the coma thing was to highlight the side characters that were um like trying to figure out everything while he was like gone asleep yeah they didn't leave them behind they just saved an episode just for them so you met them a little bit you just didn't get a full backstory of them like and um Go ahead. It was, it's weird. Like, I really enjoyed Erased a lot. Like, I thought it was super good. I enjoyed the story. But that ending, I, I'm not satisfied with it. And supposedly, there is, like, it's not a fan manga that's a continuous story. But, like, it's, like, non-official, but it's official, if that makes sense. So it's, like, Dragon Ball GT anime. Where the ending, it wasn't the, written by Toriyama. So the ending I like type thing. The ending the end, the part of the ending that I like Thank you, sweetheart. I love you. The ending the part of the ending I like Oh, hold on. Hey Bob. And he I... says the villain is made insanely oh, obvious in about three episodes. I when I would look back I was trying to think this when they were like trying to figure it out in like episode 8 I'm like they already told us I felt like they already told us cause like I knew it was the te- I'm not gonna say that I guess I I, I guessed who it was I knew in it was the 8th episode I knew the it was episode, him the 8th episode I guessed it that's when they told you who it was but I swear I knew it was him the entire time like I already knew that it was him you could feel it but like, you never guessed it they show him in the first episode um, walking past him, and that's the thing is they don't change what he looks like, like how they did yeah. in the well, future. They did, they did. My wife actually, and, my wife watched a race with me. They change him. He has red eyes, and his hair color. Excuse me, his hair color is different. All right. If you pay attention, his hair color is brown, and his eyes are like a blue. When he meets and actually interacts with him, his hair is uh black, and his eyes are red. But think about this, right? So in the so before the mom gets killed, you see him. He looks exactly like when he was a kid. When he comes no. out of the coma, he looks older. Like, that's what they should have done so you didn't see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I could see that. Yeah. So another thing is many things, including the ability of revival, are left unexplained. Which you can't, again, you had 12 episodes. You can't explain the revival ability in 12 episodes you can't explain the other ability i'm not gonna say anything else about that in 12 episodes you just can't if they had no if they had 24 episodes they could have done characters and abilities all in one they didn't have that much i mean if he's he's learning a little bit about his revival thing every you couldn't learn about the other one though and then by the 12th episode he has it all together right but you'd never be able to learn about the other one and he said revival happens without his control. So he can't do anything about it. And in the last episode, you see it happen straight in front of you. You see how there's no way he can stop it. Because it just happens in the last episode. And obviously, that cliffhanger was fantastic, in my opinion. That's how the end, That's the ending part I liked. The ending finagle they had. I won't mention anything else about that. It was... All right, but when he saw Revival at the very end, that caught me. That was like, oh, shit, please give me a season two. I don't know. It was kind of like Click for me. You ever seen the movie Click? Yeah. That's how it kind of Where it ends, he throws away the room. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, mean, I, was... I could see that. He fixed everything. Like, and, like, now he's in a completely new world and, like, but then that I feel like that <coughs> last revival is a way of them saying he didn't. Yeah. 
don't know. And like I said, there is an unofficial official manga that's a continuation of it. But I know the manga goes up to twelve issues or twelve episodes. So, so uh the he said the villain was made insanely obvious about three episodes in. Yeah. I disagree. I think it was about five to eight episodes in is when you started to click everything together. I knew it the whole the time. First, the first four episodes, he does really good of, like, keeping it under whim because he's just being a teacher. Go, like, if you watch... Go back and watch the first episode. No, I, Wait, I, I remember it second. already. I can I see it. Remember. It's the first episode. Yeah. And I can still see it in my head. I knew he, it was he looked the whole different time. because Rachel called it out, and I was like, "Yeah, you're right. It's not the teacher." Damn. And then, the like eight episode, if it was seven or eight, I was like, "No, it's the fucking teacher. I don't care what you say. It's the fucking teacher." The entire time, I thought it was the teacher, and I was like, "They told me it was the teacher." Like, it made you guess if you did it. I guess it made you second guess. I don't know. What's your overall score of it? Um. So. He also said the red herrings aren't strong enough to believably take our attention away from the... Yeah. Um, I can agree that that's a bit of a headache. Shut my door, bub. Um, there should have been something to take our attention off of it. He's always trying to stop the same exact thing. Like, there should have been a, a wrench in the plans kind of thing, if you get what I mean. And that would have caused a little more attention to everything else and not just... Who's the killer? Yeah. It's like watching uh, uh, Detective Khan. You ever seen that? Mm, sounds familiar. The, one, uh, the dude who's a detective and then gets put in a kid's body. Oh, yeah. Like, you already know what the episode's gonna be. He's gonna look for the killer. But they have wrenches in it that give you attention and that's why it's so long there's a reason why it's like i think it's still ongoing actually but i mean i i was done with that um and then sometimes it's predictable it had to be i think nah. i think in some of the episodes it had to be because if there was no if there was no way to uh put the pieces together like like if you didn't make it obviously it was a little too predictable in some situations but if you didn't make it predictable at all in some of the episodes you've been sitting there with your hand on your head going this episode's retarded what was it about so what's your rating uh 8 out of 10 yet he gave it a 7 out of 10 said it's flawed but I enjoyed the ride I, I'm with yeti on it um I, I want to give it like I'm, I'll be the nice, sweet middle. 7.5 out of 10. Um, the reason I, I, I'll explain the reason I give it an 8 out of 10, though, is because, like Yeti said, it felt rushed. And um, if they would have had more episodes and more availability to explain, uh, I think it would have done, like, phenomenal. Like, I don't know. Like, I... I'm happy for him in the end, but like it, I got like a how I met your mother type situation where at the very end he just hooks up with Robin. Like I was, Dude. I was fine with Robin or him going with someone else. Robin being with Barney and they kind of like, oh yeah, hey, she died. So here's Robin. Like. And, like, of course, at the beginning, it makes sense for him to fall for the 17-year-old. And I quote, she is 17 when he is 29. So that just tells you right there that's a little creepy. Um, but I don't know. I feel like he had more attachment to the one chick. And then to just make you feel like it's okay for them to, like, go off and get well, have a kid and all more, that. He had more attachment in the sense that when he kept going back... But that 17-year-old was there even before he went back. And then he was there, she was there again and again and then on the final one again. In my and that's, I, I, think, I think maybe that was why Revival went pie. Maybe it was saying, 
you found your home or some shit instead of an actual revival occurring. In the manga thing, like, I, I mean, for that to be the dream job, which was a cool thing, like, for him to end on, he read manga, he loved manga, of course, but it never, like, like, I know he said he drew, he drew manga, did he draw? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he drew in the series. Yeah. Um, no one liked his manga because it wasn't from the heart. Yeah. And right. then when he comes back, he's got from the heart because he's lived his life four I, times over. I don't remember him ever saying that's what his dream job was. Like, they kind of like, oh, yeah, he got his dream job rule is what they kind of said. Oh, yeah, he says that He says that near the beginning. He's like, uh, uh, I've always loved drawing, and uh I've wanted to be a manga writer for so long, but no one ever wants my stuff. Okay. So, I mean... And then he explains, like, you're not... There's no heart in it. You need more heart in it. And then, of course, he has four year, four times he's relived his life, and there's your heart right there, man. I mean, I'm sorry. If you've got to relive your life four times over, there's got to be something in there you're going to find. I guess... I mean, I guess you're right there. Yeah. I don't know. It just... I did I don't know. I wasn't okay with the ending. I don't think... I think that's my biggest issue with it, is I just wasn't okay with the ending. I love the show, though. I love the concept. I thought the whole thing was cool. Um, it definitely yeah. gave some Creeper vibes. Like, I mean, they kind of laid it thick when he I was liked the, things and stuff like that. And... I, liked, I liked some of the times where you were left thinking, oh, shit, <sighs> it fucked up again. Like, uh, the bus. I won't explain more about that. But... It made you think, oh, shit, he's restarting. Yeah. And then nothing happens. You're like, oh, okay, God, thank God. Because <laughs> another restart would have needed more episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I'd say not in my top five, but it's up there. It's good. It's, it's a strong story. I just feel like no, I wish they had more that, time to... Those OSTs are my top fives, though. Whew. Yeah. God so, damn. So let's move on to Deca Deca. Decadence. Decadence. So, I like Yeti's explanation because... Did he give one? We're, we're, di- we're two different ties. Uh, yeah, you've got to read the chat. We're two different. We're two different threads here. Um, the way decadence goes is a real twist because it has a nice hook at the beginning and then it's like, now get fucked. And the way they have their character set up and obviously the fifth episode just came out a few days ago. I, I could see another twist occurring and that's why I'm, I'm, I'm into it. But Yeti hated the fact that this, they had this badass hook, and then they dropped it. So basically, Decadence is about a uh, post-apocalyptic world set on a uh, steampunk island, basically, where they have to fight aliens for their blood to run the machine. And then you find out that all of all of it is not what it seems in the slightest and that's what threw yeti off the most and i i could see why that would throw someone off it would definitely now yeti's too intelligent drop i i feel like there was no substance behind it is what the issue was like i felt the same way and like I said, I felt like it felt kind of like Westworld, where it kind of just like season one was about this, and then season two kind of took me into like, what the hell, and like there was nothing behind it really. Like it was just like, oh well, that's, yeah, that's this why, is the true meaning behind it. That's why I liked how it went from well, like how how it went from one to two. It was a flop on the whole. Oh, okay, they can do something about it, and then now they can't. But then like four, and then obviously I haven't seen five yet. But four makes you feel like they can again. It brings back that, yeah, we can do it. Ugh. And then, like I said, I guess I gotta watch five. But five makes me feel like I, I, I want to see if they can do it. And this could be an anime that could be twelve episodes long because it can do that. But 
I could see it going seasons longer with the twist coming in. And if the twist does come in, the seasons will just flow. I don't know. I feel like it's an anime that it kind of jumped the gun on starting on green lighting. And they don't really know where the manga placement is going yet. And they're kind of just adding stuff type situation. A big problem could be is if they do exactly what they did in Tokyo Ghoul. Like, what's the manga uh, situation with it? Is it finished or is it ongoing? I don't know. I saw the anime, jumped on it hardcore, because it, I mean, the picture caught my attention, let alone everything else. Um, I read the description and then went to town. But if you, if you want to, if you want to say jump the gun, a good example is Tokyo Ghoul. Because uh, the first season, office. yeah, the first season of Tokyo Ghoul and the first section of Full Metal Alchemist is by the book. And then the second season of Tokyo Ghoul, the ha end half of Full Metal Alchemist, off the rockers doesn't make any sense. And then the third season of Tokyo Ghoul and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood saved everything everything and they were able to put in some of the little hints you got from the i'm gonna say originals but they're not the starting animes so you got hints of season two in tokyo ghoul in season three but they didn't ruin the anime i mean ruin the manga by adding all that crap they had in season two same thing with full Metal alchemist you had some hints at like the original show I don't know. I'll tell you and what. They never really threw that show in there. Tokyo goes a lot more fine than Full Metal Alchemist deciding we don't know where this is actually going, so we're just going to connect this with Nazis and Jews. <laughs> I'm going to disagree, and let me explain. In the end of Season 2 in Tokyo Ghoul, if you watch it, but I'm with, he, I'm with he, commits, he commits suicide. Yeah. Um, and there's a problem there because that would end the entire show, period. Bar none. Done. If you watch season three all the way through and actually pay attention to the episodes that feel like filler, none of the episodes in Tokyo Ghoul are filler. There are none. All of them are important storyline. Um, one of the episodes in epi uh, season three explains what actually happened. It doesn't go, well, here's my buddy. I give the fuck up. No. No, 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 no. Kaneki is running to save his friends, meets up with Arima, the badass CCG of the fucking day, and gets cock-blocked hard. I mean, he gets fucked up and then loses his memory because of it. So they fix that issue of season two by just erasing it completely. And... I think that's why season two was worse than Full Metal Alchemist, because at least they stuck with it for a long period of time and then ended on their own terms and just ended it. Tokyo Ghoul wasn't even anywhere near over. And they were like, oh, fuck, we're going to end it. Heh. Like, you, you can't do that. Literally, you could take the first five-ish episodes of the second season, watch those, with season one and season three, and you'll be fine. Because the last five don't fucking count. Well, no, the raid counts. They do raid in Ta Itaku, the uh, coffee shop. But they raid it. That's it. You don't. You don't get this whole. Well, J. Uh, the Agori Tree shows up and fucks with what's her name, and then he's got a regenerate by eating his friend the eating his friend part happens but none of the rest of that happens he doesn't just give up after that and he and the fight between him and uh so yeah, the cc member is big it's definitely what i thought it was so decadence is only on chapter eight or no chapter eight came out a while ago so i don't know i think they're behind or they don't have enough material yet I think Yeti's got a point. I need to. Definitely season one might be one you just binge. Yeah. Because I, I the agree. first 
I don't know why you told us an really ongoing cool. anime to get into for homework. I hate you for that. I literally made homework for uh, No Gun Life, and you don't give a shit, and that's ongoing. That was never homework. We never talked about No Gun Life. Yeah, we all agreed to and watch it. That we just, is we ongoing. Didn't make it a, we didn't make it a... Uh, no Gun Life did, is ongoing. That's what I said. You didn't care about that at all. And I didn't say... Uh, we didn't make it like homework as in we had to do it in a week. We made it like something we're going to watch. So it's something that in the future we'll have a review over. I feel like that's, that's what I meant. I feel like that's what we should do. If we're going to do ongoing shows, we have to wait until a season's done of it to take... Like, I don't feel like we can make good opinions and reviews on shows that are like okay we're only four episodes in like i think like we can Deca make an a four uh, or five deck is at five now yeah the fifth five. episode came out today uh yeah. three days ago like i don't think we can form good opinions of it with four now episodes. to change that you can with something like black clover mm. and fire force reason being Tell me something. Is, if you had the so first episodes. four episodes of Bleach, would you, and that's all you had, could you sit here and say Bleach is the greatest anime that you ever watched? I'd never watch it again. Exactly. Like, but I what I'm like... saying, what I'm saying is, is like Black Clover is at 137 episodes. So when the next episode comes out, yeah, we can explain that once he catches the fuck up. Um, once Yeti catches up, he hasn't started watching it yet, and. Same thing with Fire Force. Fire Force has so many episodes already. I think they're in season three or season four. I can't exactly Fire remember. Fire Force? Yeah. They're on season two, bud. Is it season two? Yeah. Which one's season three or four? Is that... That's My Hero Academia is about to be on season five. No, no, no. no. There's another one. It's, Attack, it's not Demon Slayer, is it? Attack on Titans about to be on season five. Demon Slayer... Or, not Demon Slayer. Yeah, Demon Slayer. Doctor Stone... Um, Fire Force, <gasps> Promise Neverland all came out last year. Yeah, you're right. My bad. Yep. But, um, ah, shit, you're right. Yep. So, like, Black Clover, if we were going to do that, we would do it. Okay, we're going to do season one. That would be homework. There's no seasons on Black Clover. Yeah, but we can make 24 episodes a season. That's a lot of fucking episodes, bro. Not really. We do that all the time. I'm 30 episodes into Black Clover now, by the way. Once I got used to how loud Asta is, I was good to go. LOL. I'm really liking it. Yeah. I mean, the first, hey. first 30 episodes of Black Clover, it had me hooked. I want to say... His relationship with his brother Clover really kicked until... up. 90. 90 is when I'm starting to like... And I think that's just more from the whole I'm tired, I'm burnt down to medieval shit. You know? That's what I'm saying though. You're you're literally you're gonna miss a lot uh, in that short time period because it stops being medieval real fast. Who, me? You're talking... What? What are you talking about? Yeah. Talking about Black Clover. When you you're stopped around 90 that's when everything... It's the fan, man. Yeti, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you mute yourself for a second, or just like quit watching us, or turn down the volume until I like make like I flip off the camera or something. Um, I am, I am past where you know what happens to the king, and everyone's turning into you know what and all of that, and I'm just. I'm like, God, I'm so tired of medieval. Like, I'm going to get back into it and watch it. I'm not like, I don't hate this show or anything. I'm just burnt out on medieval. And that's why I haven't started the new season of, um, what's it called yet? Seven Deadly Sins. Seven Deadly Sins. I'm just, and I'm slowly getting back into it. Like I said, I'm watching Sword Art again. Um, Black Clover, I'm what, 20 episodes behind? You said you're on episode 130? 137. I mean, I'm 27 episodes behind. Like, I can catch up pretty easy. Like, and oh, I, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of, it's just not a show I can just watch weekly, I feel like. Like, I like Black Clover a lot, but I feel like I would like to be able to sit down and get my my full dose of it. 
Because I'm not going to be like, I am ex- I can't wait for the next episode. Like, I don't right. know. I like the... I, I, there are I, some episodes in Black Clover, I'm like, all right, I need this next episode. And then there are some episodes you know that the next five to ten episodes are going to be filler, and you're just like, yep. and I'll I f- wait. I feel like that's what happened, is I kind of caught up to it, and I was just like... You're right, that's where we're at right now. Is yeah. The problem is, is we're at a standpoint where everyone's training, and it's a bunch of random shit going on. Nope. And, yeah, I, I'm excited to watch it because I'm hooked on the show already. But, I mean, that's like watching uh, My Hero. The first, what, four or five episodes in this newest season were boring <laughs> as shit. My oh, Hero? Oh, cool, we're having a festival, a festival, a festival, oh, a festival. The end. I don't know. Me and Yeti talked about uh, this. I was... I didn't think I gave a shit, but I really did care when she smiled. It really made me happy. Oh. But uh, I'm also mad about my hero. Also, I don't feel like that they get the pass to have filler. I don't feel seasonal anime get a pass to have filler episodes. I'm sorry. It just they should have one, if any. Yeah. Like i don't know and i and i really feel like anime like dragon ball is the only exception i give to this nothing else has good filler episodes like if you think about dragon ball filler episodes goku getting a driver's license pretty funny episode um let's see here the seven days that they're not doing anything during the cell games is okay um gohan going to high school was okay um, the stuff in Dragon Ball Super was, I mean, there wasn't really any, but there was some that was, like, pretty cool to watch. The but, baseball game was hilarious. Yeah, I mean, like, it was, like, goofy stuff. Even in Super, the little bit watching. of filler in Super, I thought was really good because it was showing things off that we had seen before. Like, everybody playing baseball versus different universes. That was cool as shit. And, like, Yamcha giving him spotlight again. That was kind of cool. Yeah, 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 because he was the pitcher, and, like, wow. Who the fucking thought Yamcha knew how to pitch? Like, What are you talking about? He's a pro baseball player. That's the joke. He's useless. But he's not useless. He's he's a freaking outstanding human being. He's just so mediocre. The only only reason he's outstanding is because... The strong, the second strongest man in the universe stole his woman, and he didn't complain. Oh, what the hell? Don't, don't lie to me about that either, because you know if the man above you stole your woman, you'd be one pissed off motherfucker. Yeah. Am I wrong? Yeah. Like I was reading what Eddie just sent us. Yamcha is just like me. He said, I think the only thing holding Black Clover back in the public eye right now is that it hasn't had a big amazing fight that set the internet on fire yet. Because the characters in the animation are pretty top notch. Did the damn... (coughs) Pretty (coughs) top notch. Did the damn good show in anime, but they just haven't had that thing happen that makes everybody talk about it yet. And, which, I, if you really think about it, the only time that anyone actually gets hype over fight scenes in it is it's gross. when they fought the one dude's brother. I'm not saying anyone's name just because I don't want to give it away, and everyone jumped in. And then I would say the King's fight was the well, see, two that everyone the fight about. after The fight after the King's fight, and I'm not going to explain that at all because yeah, it'll ruin things for you. Just keep everything um, empty. Uh, the fight oh. after the King's fight got so much clout, and then Are you talking about with dropped. the bull guy where he's fighting everyone? You, yeah. you, I've seen that. you are missing one of the fucking best fight scenes. I hate the animation. I'm not gonna lie. Sean they says it's the same thing. Sean says it's really good. Um, uh, and I need to get caught up. But like, I'm just what I'm upset about. I have all this I, other I'll, good I'll, anime I can watch right now. I'll I'll use this as an example because if you haven't watched uh, uh, Shippuden, that's your fault. 
Um, and you don't know who Payne is, that's also your fault. You've had plenty of time. Um, how are you the not going to give... How are you going to sit here and say you can give spoilers to a 500 and something episode show, but you I won't give, give spoilers. it... But you won't give it to Assassination Classroom that had 24 episodes that came out like 8 years ago, and everyone should have seen it. I didn't know it came out 8 years that. ago. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know it came out it's 8 old. years ago. I just found out about it, what? Three weeks ago? It's not eight it, years. It has no clout, it, though. Like, I don't think it's unless you're on Hulu, old. unless you're on Hulu or Funimation, which, let's be honest, a lot of the anime community really isn't. Um, unless you're on either of those, you wouldn't have seen it. Like, uh, 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 but Naruto. You can't promote shit, you that could either. turn on. You could turn on a TV and go to any cartoon cartoonish network channel and not see a fucking commercial for that show. Yeah, but you're gonna still say someone's kept, kept up the date on 500 plus episodes? Come on. Payne's not even 500 in. He's like okay. 200 in. I mean, Payne, yes. Everyone should know about Payne by now. It's the free zone. What, what I'm, what I'm saying is the, 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 the fight between Payne and Naruto after Hinata is killed. I hated the animation for it. Hated it. It was. I'm a fan of that right animation. Rush. It's weird. I thought it was rushed as shit. But they, they thought, use that all the time too in Naruto. It's yeah, weird, but I thought but it's, like it's cool. I like the it. fight scene could have been awesome, like a Sasuke versus Naruto fight scene, if they would have just slowed down and worked on it instead of oh look. He's like a blob versus a blob throwing rocks at a blob. Here's a blob. He's just lasering these rocks with a blob. Like I don't know why, but I enjoyed it. I like. I don't know. It just seemed really cool to look then at. Then you will enjoy the next fight scene in Black Clover. Well, I'm not saying it does the same thing. And like I said, I'm not hating on Black Clover. You no, think no, I, I know, hate I know. it? I just no, took no. A that's break. not what I was saying. That's not what I was saying. You I was saying there. you're gonna sit there and tell me you watch One Piece straight through. And never took breaks. And yeah. Yeti, I'm not talking to you because I know you're weird ass. I did. watch that straight through. You're a liar. I know for a fact. No, I watched, keep... I watched all the way up to 620 See, something because I was working behind. at Best Buy. Why are you behind no, right now? No, I caught up. Yeah, but you still took a break. I, no, I'm sorry. That's not 600 because when did, uh, when did, um, what's his name? Uh, when did, um, Hoodie Jones come in because I, I ended right after Yeti the Hoodie Jones you. fight. We can ask Yeti that. I ended right after the Hoodie Jones fight. I had completely caught up, and then it continued, and I was like, I, I can't watch that right now. I'm too busy because at that time. So when I caught up, I was working for Best Buy, so I wasn't that busy, and I was able just to sit down. I only had my son, and I was just. But watching. you're saying you I got was, like, caught up. You're saying you got caught up, which means yeah. you took a break. Well, no, what I'm saying is is I did rush through over 500 episodes but you took like breaks. that. But you took breaks. No. no, no, no. During that period of one to like whenever Hoodie shows up, I, I'll look it up. Hold the fuck on. But then you took a whenever break Hoodie and got up, back into it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's, I, I can that's, see that. That's all I'm doing with Black Clover. I took a break. I went on to other enemies. I fifty nine. Think about it. I got caught up to Black Clover, and I had Doctor Stone. I had Fire Force. I had um. I had more I could have watched, but I wasn't my hero. Like I was. I mean, I was hooked on just One Piece for some odd reason. I had a like a kick. And trust me, it's hard to get a kick in One Piece with all the filler they got, and they got filler. Oh, but. At least, like, like in Dragon Ball, the the filler is fun. The yeah. filler is, it, it's cool. It's it's something, a little extra that gives those characters those seven. Was it seven? I don't know. I don't give my I don't give the main characters anime, feeling. I don't give seasonal anime. We'll get back to the point. I do not give seasonal anime. The same pass I give these animes like Black Clover. Dragon Ball, One Piece, Naruto. These shows that are ongoing, there's a reason why they have filler. Because they're running out of material yeah. at a certain point. What's it called? Look My at, Hero? You come out with 24 episodes a year. 
Dr. Stone, you come what? out with 24 episodes a year. There's no let's reason why you cannot have everything done by the next year. Let's look at this. Attack on Titan. It's filler wasn't filler. And it's five filler. seasons in. The filler was uh, not actual filler. So it was... It's story learning about, If it's story it was driven, learning about, I don't yeah, count that It filler. was learning about... But it, it's still filler. Because it was learning about a character who technically isn't a main. And at the time, at the time, there, wasn't that important. There, he is now. Levi's hella important now. But when he had his fillers, which were story-based, those aren't fillers. He wasn't that important. Yet he says there I are his 10 members of the Straw Hat good, crew, LOL, but Jim B. Jesus Christ. Just joined the, in the last arc. So there you go. There's I thought Jimmy was already a part of it. The fish dude? Karate fish dude? Oh, no. He was never part of the, the actual Straw Hat game, though. Mm, I don't know. But I don't give... Oh, I missed two. I know who I I, missed. When I say filler, I'm talking Goku and Piccolo getting a freaking driver's license. What the hell does that do for the story? Absolutely nothing. That is considered... That's a lot. That's considered... You know how much of a bitch Chi-Chi is. That is no... What's the... Oh, you learn how strong Chi-Chi is in a filler. Yeah, that is filler. What? You learn how long... How strong Chi-Chi is in a filler. Yeah. And that was worth it. But I'm just saying. That's considered filler. Strongest female in the universe. If my hero... I don't know. I just cannot give them that same pass that I give those... No, no. These long freaking animes that just it go wasn't, years It wasn't and a years growing filler either. It wasn't a growing filler because just because the uh, Class A is making a musical does not give you the right for every single group of that musical to have a fucking episode for. No. It, it doesn't fit. Because no one wants those every other group getting a filler episode. People want... Bakugo and the main group of like 10 there's probably more I'm just estimating 10 they want those people in the show they don't care about random ass dickhead who can play guitar down the road who's gonna play bass for us we don't remember him anymore in later it goes no one cares about that um Brandon so let's start wrapping this up um after we're oh, done God, has it been that long? After we're done with the podcast, you want to do a first to five in Street Fighter? It's been a while. Uh, do I have it on PC? Uh, do you? I think you have it on PS4 only. I think yeah, it, I, I think they're it. doing a free trial, so you you would have Ken. On PC? Yeah. I have it downloaded. Though. Oh, yeah, true. That might take long. My one gig wouldn't take that long. Yeah. <laughs> huh? We could, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, can, hold on, hold on. We can do a first 10. Um, Yeti's, while he's looking, Yeti's recommendation for the week is Transformers War for Cybertron Siege um, on Netflix. It's only six episodes right now, but um, scroll down, scroll down. It won't show me. Yeah, I don't have Street Fighter on here uh i had tekken is because of the fact that uh we could we could, well we could do a first to five in tekken i'd have to re-download it because uh, remember it when i did that i did that hard hard drive change oh yeah damn uh, it let's see it says 44 minutes so yeah it'd be a minute for what, what i'll do is i'll tekken all right so we'll do tekken because i probably will have an update and we'll do a first to five in tekken um we can How are we gonna do that? Forty four minutes? Yeah, we'll we'll have a break, you know, like you can get the kids to sleep and go kiss the baby and that, he's taking care of that, she knows what the day is. Oh, well, yeah. we'll, yeah. we'll do tech in tomorrow. You off to are you what, 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 what time you get off? Dude, I'm on vacation. Cause like it, supposedly I'm supposed to be in California and they fucked my sister over so she's now stuck in quarantine for two weeks. So now I wasted all this PTO to sit on the couch. So, I all right. So, so we'll, we'll tomorrow play tomorrow. Night, tomorrow night we'll do Anubis versus Nabby in a first of five, and then some Tekken. 
I'm gonna have to pull out my stick. God damn, I gotta get the dust off that bitch. You know, Ooh. I'm always, That's gonna be good. I'm always equipped. Uh. Fuck it! It's probably on your wall, bitch! Don't even! <laughs> I don't have a wall of fucking shit. I have loot. Um. Not literal loot, but. <laughs> so, I'm gonna. Shit. I'm gonna deny informing everyone what Yeti said, just like the government does to us and hold back information given by Yeti um cause the school festival arc was trash he thinks the school festival arc was actually good and the swimsuit the swimming episode of MHA is uncalled for like I, I think, fucking said you were not supposed to tell him we were, uh, we were withholding I think information the on behalf of I think the, the school festival arc could have waited States. I think the school festival arc could have waited and it could have been like two or three episodes long and not an entire season. I did not need to know what instrument was best for, for each character. I did not no. need to know that. I did uh, not need to know. Like the episode, the episode uh, where the photographer showed up, that was a filler and then it ended with the oh shit moment. That was the first episode of, the, of season four. Yeah, it was a filler, but then at the same time, it was a oh shit moment near the end yep. because you thought it was all given away, and it was like, oh, cool. But that's the way you're supposed to do it. Not here's fifty, uh, not fifty. Here's five episodes of us playing and learning how to be a band and learning how to dance and sing and no. We're a team, yeah. Woo! I was just waiting I, for the car wash sequence where they were like singing and like throwing water on each other. Like, <laughs> I was waiting for the we gotta raise money, so let's have a car wash. No, like I said, I enjoyed seeing what's her name smile. That was cool, but like, it was definitely a good feel. I mean, you 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 could have like pulled out like some more stops with Bakyu and um, Todoroki getting their license. So like drawn that out more so like dude oh, we could have actually watched a better fight than yep yeah this happened yep i don't know i do like the fact that they had i do to... give yeti props because he he is right when he says um the the back half was kind of needed because the first half was so dark but at the same time they did that with the season beforehand also where they kind of just You stopped. can't use that excuse. Attack on Titans dark 24-7. Yeah, but they've my They've never hero, had... My they've never not, had a single episode my hero where is not it's like happy. That. My hero is not supposed to be paced like that. I thought it was refreshing. Yeah, see, he just said what I said about how he feels the back half was good for the first half. And, okay, yeah. But, I mean, if that's what they're going to do every season, I'm we're, we're getting into a point where... Like, we all still watch Walking Dead, correct? Everyone still watches that, right? That's the most popular show on TV still, right? No, exactly. Because that's I've what that is. I've never seen did. a single it had, it had a cliffhanger ending. The first episode would fix everything from the last episode of the season. A mid-season point, which was really good. And then... Back to just, your own yeah, like and it was just an endless cycle of that. Oh, and people, repeat. people caught on to it. They got burnt out. They stopped watching Walking Dead. Like the end of season two of My Hero wasn't a cliffhanger. It was just you knew he was going to keep growing. The end of season three was a cliffhanger, and it was a good, well done cliffhanger. The main fucking hero is out. Perfect idea to fucking end the season with. And then the fourth season was like. Dude, I, I, even yeah. even with the sports festival, season four is still like my favorite season so far. Like it is, it I love is season really three. good. Season three I love was season good, three. but I feel like, dude, overhaul that was such a good arc, dude. Like I did not expect to care about the dude that goes through the walls and shit as much as I did. Fat Gun was the coolest addition in the world. Um, oh yeah, the ending of season four was definitely one of the better endings the hell are you talking about I mean, no, beginning beginning yeah. sorry beginning like I mean, one of the better beginnings yeah there was a lot of good stuff that happened in season four i like season four a lot it is my favorite okay. 
so far, but at the same time, I'm just like, I don't want this more. I don't want this to be a repeat thing where it's kind of gets to the point where I, I'm like, I'm watching I, Walking Dead again. I want to do this. I want to do this right. before we go, and I want to get Yeti's opinion too. So I hope he's still on here. Now, we're not gonna name names, and this is just a prophecy I could possibly see in the future, and I want to hear you guys' point on it. Will he get his powers back? Are you talking about who? All Might? Oh, what's, and, what's and, his name? End yeah. of, like, episode five. Yeah, yeah, uh, he will. I think he will because of what's her name? Horned Bitch. Yep, yep. He, he will. It, I think she'll backtrack it. I haven't read any manga, so I wouldn't know. Um... I think I'll actually start manga here soon, but in the manga, ah, you well, stay away. I can't, I can't say anything about what I don't know in terms of uh, manga. That's what Yeti just said. Manga spoilers. Um, the manga's quirk is still gone, but I think he will eventually, eventually get it back. Yeah, but which... in the in the manga, <clears throat> I don't want to say it because it's a manga spoiler. Uh, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, I, I won't. I won't say anything about it. My brother ruined it for me on accident. Dude, I'm so weird. Like I have to watch it animated before I can watch or read it. Like unless it's Dragon Ball. Like Dragon Ball, I don't care. I just like content for Dragon Ball, so I can watch the, or read the Dragon Ball Super manga and be fun but I I watch then read because I like to watch it and it's weird because it's vice versa in like comic books I love reading comic books and I like seeing them adapt stuff from comic books into like animated movies and stuff like that some some animes I agree like Taka, uh, not Taka, uh, Tokyo Ghoul was really cool to be able to like be reading the Jason arc and then you could see in your mind how this would be playing out like when they're fighting and you're like oh my god i can actually see this fight it's colored on the paper even though it's black and white you know and you could just feel it you can hear the music and the sounds and it's like oh but then um with stuff like uh mortal rain which i've read but has hasn't got an <coughs> anime yet i really hope it does i'm trying so hard to see if it will um anubis for you this week, my homework for myself. Is oh a, shit, we're going to homework now. Nah, I'm just saying for myself, not for you, because I know you and Eddie's oh, okay. probably already watched it. I'm gonna watch Tokyo Ghoul. I've I've seen. You've six, never watched it? I've watched six episodes. That's all I've ever gotten into it. And oh my man! I was like, meh, it's all right. So, so watch season two. Don't ruin yourself like uh, I did and read the manga before you watch season two. Um, but watch season two. Tell me and the whole thing right now. Please do. All I was going to say was, is when you get into season three, don't fret about some of season two. It'll all work out in the end. Because it it's like, like a, watching... Is it a blue Exodius thing? Or Exodius, what? Blue Exorcist thing? Have you seen? Kind of. Have you seen season two? Where they not yet botch the end of season. I've one. heard of it. I've heard of it. Yeah, but season one pissed me off. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's like it's like a uh, I'm trying to think of an. It's like if you had FMA, but take the ending from the manga and put it in the anime. Ooh. Not Brotherhood. Like, cut it off when they're starting to lose track. About halfway when they start to lose track. And then remanga it again. Yeah, that's what they did in The Exorcist. They'll fix it in Season 3, but watch Season 2, because things do happen in Season 2 that did happen in the manga. Yep. Same thing with FMA and then Brotherhood. If you watch FMA and then you watch Brotherhood, you'll like Brotherhood more because it follows the manga to a T, but... FMA does catch certain glimpses of the manga that aren't in Brotherhood. I enjoy and, both of them so oh. well. And I wish Yeti would freaking finish. See, alright, this is our homework for everyone this week. So, I I said I'm going to watch um, 
what's it called? Tokyo Goal for you, Anubis. Yeti yep. is going to watch Full Metal Alchemist for me. Yeti, give Brandon... Oh, right. No, Brotherhood. he's going to watch the original. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, no. The Start 20 episodes. Oh, God, no. He's, ar he's already seen Brotherhood. He oh, okay, Brotherhood. then he has to watch it. Then yeah. he has to watch so it. he's going to watch that for me, and then Yeti's going to give you homework, and then we're all, right, all going to discuss. Got. If he's still here. Oh, wait, is he? Is he? I don't know, I'm waiting. We hope he's here. He's not poking he's not Pokey Joe in, so I don't know. Pokey Joe in is the dots on uh the dots on Messenger. I don't think he's there. Uh, uh, well, okay. we will we will talk to him and we'll get him to get you his um homework for you. If he tells me Haiku, I'm kicking you in the dick. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, dude, please do hug you. It's not your please, choice, goddammit. Stay out of it. Don't please, you type that. Don't you type that. Please. I saw what you did. <laughs> he don't said you season that, one. He you said season that, one to hug you. You have to watch it. Do you it. really? You have to watch it. Season one. I we God. we all have stuff now that we did not want to watch. Now we all have to watch stuff that we don't have want to watch. So now it's perfect. All right, all right. All I wish you gave you right, ping pong right. instead. I kind of wish you gave ping, ping pong. I got one episode in and thought that was retarded. Ping pong's so good. So it was so stupid. So I'm watching Tokyo Ghoul. Yet he's watching the original series of Full Metal Alchemist and the movie. And you were watching Hakai. This is perfect. I'm cool with that. Hikai. This, this is perfect. Haiku. Hi. Yeti, did you get that? I'll, of course, put it in the group chat afterwards of all our homework. But I think next week is going to be probably our best episode. I thought this one was actually one of our better ones, too. And I told, yeah, I told Rachel that before we started it. We had a lot to talk about. And we had a lot of good points on every end, and we didn't ruin any of the animes. I mean, we ruined the race a little bit, but you know what I it's think. Twelve episodes. You know what I think really helped for you mm -hmm. is you watch the material. <laughs> what helped for me, and you have to understand, with my ADHD, I can't sit down and do twelve episodes straight unless every single episode gives me endorphins. Well, and Hikari, I'll explain that Hikari off the stream because that. it would take me a while. But um, Yeti says that unless Lisa Anubis gets a good one. <laughs> Dude, Sean just finished season two, in which last week I said how he just started the first episode of Hakai, and he just yeah. finished season two. Season three is not on Netflix, and he's right now like hunting it down. So you can watch Jesus season Christ. three. Like Sean's hooked on it, and Sean was more like, "I will never watch this than you." So, I think right. I think you have the best material, and I I feel like he will have a sweet spot for the original series of Full Metal Alchemist. Like, it's good. I I. It's not Brotherhood good, but like in its own way, where it's going off into Jewish and Nazi stuff, it is awesome. <laughs> Like, oh, where yeah. the heck oh, did yeah. they find that from? For sure. Who knows? But I think it's going to be a fun episode next week. Um, I dropped a mystery quickie, quickie mini, mini mystery quickie. I don't know what I call the show. Um, I dropped another one of those videos. Um, we started our own TikTok today. We got a TikTok video, or er, account. Um, all you got to do is just sign in with Google on it, and you can play on it. Um, same with Yeti. Um, I want you. To... I'm streaming on the back line. If you want to watch, I'll yeah. probably be streaming. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say at least yeah. two or three hours tonight. Anubis has been streaming. I want to say you streamed for the last four days straight. Um, yeah. 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 yeah I, have. I got a message um, at like two a.m. from um, who was it? Mac. Uh, he's like, dude, you're playing League? Let's play. I'm, and I was asleep. It was, I kid you not, I swear it was like the day that I was trying to get off the podcast because I was so tired. And he woke yeah. me up with a notification. 
And I'm like, I'm not fucking playing League. It's freaking Anubis playing League. <laughs> well, then I had uh, a buddy of mine. I can't remember what his name was. He messaged me on the Facebook on Facebook. One of our buddies from uh, your buddy from high school, my buddy from middle school. Uh, he went to Cooper, but he messaged me on Facebook and he's like, "Man, you're trash at that map. You want me to show you how to play?" I was like, "Bitch, please." Who was it? Ah, uh, I can't remember his name. I can see his face, but I can't remember his name. Ah, oh, damn. It was hilarious, though. Hold That's on, let me funny. see if I can find it. If I can find the stream, I can find him. It's on the Navi thing. Well, I'm going to tell Yeti he can sign out and go to bed because I know he probably has work tomorrow. Um, we, 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 we we should probably sign this out anyway. It's been, it's been a minute. Alrighty. Well, guys, this was episode 13. Yeti's been in the chat, you know, giving us pointers. I think it was cool. He was kind of like a coach that kept us on track, too. I think that kind of helped oh, yeah. out a lot. Um, Anubis and his ponytails here. I think I need to grow a ponytail. Both of you guys have ponytails and I don't. So I think I need one. Um, Man bum, whatever you guys call them. Uh, but this was episode 13. Shining Dad Podcast. Uh, check us out on TikTok, YouTube, Spotify, um, Teespring. We have merch. All our merch yep. sales for Shining Dad Podcast t-shirts go to Yeti getting a laptop, a microphone, a webcam, and all that fun stuff. Um, once we raise enough money to get that, we should do a video of him going and you know getting all his gear. I think that'd be cool. And then putting it together, yeah. that'd be fucking fantastic. Yeah, dude, like we could like slowly piece that together. Um, that'd be cool. I like that. But yeah, so that means everyone needs to go buy merch. Um, we, dude, what days are you off? Tomorrow and Tuesday. Yeah. God, that's a shitty schedule. We should we should try to get together one of those days and make a commercial for old Yeti. <laughs> we will see. We'll put it on everything. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, have Thank a good you night. Thank you for up. All right. Peace. Peace. Mm, Dakota.